we need to stop building fence like Granddad and start building fence like our kids will need to in the future. This is Mr. Fence Academy. So this tool is called a straightaway. We use this to run the top of the pickets to keep them even on top. But we also use this tool to mark these posts before they leave the truck. So if you can imagine, if you have a full bulk of posts, a full unit of posts is about this wide, and they're stacked up four or five rows high. What you need to do is get the first row on top even, even across one end, because the posts themselves will be a little bit variance in length. And everything that we build is always going to be measured from the top down. Everything's top down. So I don't care if it's an extra quarter inch in the ground, half inch in the ground. I'm worried about top down measurements. So if I have a bunk of posts, I need to pick which side I'm going to make even. The way you want to do that is pick the side opposite of the one with the tags. It saves a step down the road. If you were to pick the side without the tags, then the tags go on the ground. Everything's top down. This will show you the markings, depending on what the style of fence you're building. It's going to tell you where to put the marks on the post. Okay. Um, if it's a French Gothic, it'll tell you how to mark the French Gothic post. Where do you measure from? All right, the pointed French Gothic post. If it's just a standard scallop post or a standard dog ear fence, you're going to measure from the top. So I'm just for today, I'm going to use this side as my even side for my top. I use this as a straight edge. And I can look down there and see they're not all lined up. That's it. So right now those are all perfectly lined up on this end. Not that end. And I don't care about that end. Once they're all nice and even, I'm going to take this, turn it sideways, line up the right side or the zero mark, and mark my post. 27, 54, and 66 is my ground level. Once I do that, I mark the other side. Twenty-seven, fifty-four, and sixty-six. Then turn it sideways. It's that easy to mark out nine posts. So with the time it took me to explain to you how to do this, I bet in marketing probably took me three minutes to mark those. Nine posts. Most job is 25 posts, 30 posts. There's no reason why it would take you more than 10 minutes to mark out every post and then pack them out. It's just that fast, that easy. So now, these posts can get packed out after the holes are cleaned out. Holes are already cleaned out. So these are good to go. That end goes in the ground. We're gonna face the boards this way, the pickets, the finish side, which means these marks face this way and all the posts lean away from the marks. There's a reason for that, okay? So all the posts lean away from the marks, all the marks mark this way. That's the bottom of all of them. Make sense? Let's go ahead and pack them out.